So word around the block is you want to learn how to actually aim properly in Valorant. And I already released a video on how to improve on your reflexes and whatnot. So the main thing that still needs to be covered, the biggest question on everyone's mind, is where the fuck do I put my crosshair? And well, I'm going to explain that to you because I've noticed a lot of people don't actually understand where the fuck to put their crosshair. They're aiming at fucking China Well, I'm trying to clear a bomb site. So I'm going to teach you the proper way to actually clear sites and how to properly position yourself to set yourself up for the easy ass frags that I always get. Now the main overriding term here that we're going to be learning today is crosshair placement. Now I want you all to say it with me, crosshair placement. Now I'm sure some of you have heard about it, but what exactly is crosshair placement? Crosshair placement basically is positioning your crosshair in the perfect spot so you only have to make minor adjustments during the game so you can land those easy ass headshots. Now, the thing with crosshair placement is, in a game like Valorant, where not all the angles are going to be known with you, it's going to be a bit harder to actually learn about crosshair placement, and it's going to be a bit harder to actually put it into play. But the thing with crosshair placement is a lot of it just comes with game sense, and knowing angles, and that comes with hours and playtime. So there's not very many exercises you can do with crosshair placement, other than consciously being aware of where your crosshair is at all times, and constantly trying to improve upon it. When you die, note where your crosshair crosshair is and if you realize you were aiming at their fucking freshly pedicured fucking toes then you know that you did not have proper crosshair placement if you're aiming at their neck you know your crosshair placement was just a tad off and it needs a little bit of work and if you're aiming dead on their head you know you're doing the right thing and you just need to keep practicing what you're doing you need to keep putting that crosshair center mass on their big ass egg head and clicking your fucking mouse now here soon I'm going to run into a map and show you proper crosshair placement and what it should look like when you are clearing a bomb site. Now one thing I forgot to mention is that your hand naturally wants to move in a horizontal moment. That's why you should always be aiming at head level. It is not used to aiming in a vertical movement. That is just fucking weird. Your hand shouldn't be able to do that. If it does, once again, I stated this in the last video, if you can automatically move vertically and you are fucking good at it, better than you are horizontally, you have a fucking problem and you are way too special to be watching this video. You should just leave right now. Thank you. Okay, let's get this shit started, yeah? Alright, so here we are in game and I'm going to show you what an example of crosshair placement looks from both T side and CT side. So I'm going to go over to the attacking side and say I'm hitting mid, right? Now, mid is a bit complicated because there are a lot of angles they can peek from, specifically down this long corridor, uh, which is kind of fucking annoying, which is kind of why I hate this map. There's so many fucking nooks and crannies that they can just sit in. On CT side, they shouldn't be able to do that shit. Anyways, I digress. So, as I was saying, okay, so my crosshair, it's right here. This is lined up with the doorway down mid. So I peek out and it is automatically, I was a little off because I don't really know these maps very well, but I was a little off and all I would have to do is adjust it slightly. So if I'm coming to peak mid, I want my crosshair to automatically land me at this doorway. Somewhere in this doorway, right or left. It doesn't really matter, but a lot of times people play on the right side. Uh, just saying that right now. But anyways, my crosshair comes out. I'm automatically zoomed on the right side of the doorway, okay? So it's at head level. So if someone is there and I actually need to take the shot, I can take the shot. I can strafe out, I can stop, I can shoot. Now next, if I was to clear more of mid, I would reposition my crosshair, and I would walk out like this, and I keep my crosshair trained right here, just in case someone was to pop out and run out on me. And there's one right here, where you need to you need to go like that, and you need to actually look up. As you can see, every time I adjust my crosshair, I am going straight for head level. So I'm moving to this side, I'm watching this, and now I want to come soft clear this angle, and my crosshair, once again, automatically at head level, right here as it should be. And when you're on slopes, just notice every single time that you're going to slowly need to readjust because you are coming up on somewhere where it's going to be a higher elevation, so your crosshair is going to need to slightly move up. So my crosshair is at head level here. Uh, say someone's watching this so I can clear here. There's a corner there, so I know I want to clear that. So my crosshair goes there automatically. And I'm walking into sight now. This is already cleared out and I have my crosshair automatically trained on places they could be. I missed that corner because I am a fucking idiot and I would have died there. Here, the corner, walking into sight. 
this is another spot. If this is already cleared out, you definitely want to have your cross here at this level because people love to head glitch up here. Their head would actually be somewhere around here because it doesn't actually do a perfect head glitch for them. Thank fucking God. And next, you would swing out here. Your crosshair placement would still be at the right spot. And it's a little bit hard when you're peeking down on the places. Uh, it's not so much crosshair placement when you're peeking down on places. It's just... It's just aim. It comes down to aim more when you're when you're doing this. But you can still aim at head level for the most part when you're looking down corridors like this. If you expect them against the back wall, you aim at the head level of the back wall. If you expect them here, this would be head level here. There's a certain amount of like a certain amount of leeway in between my crosshair and the ground right here, and that would indicate I move my crosshair up two inches and I'm basically at their heads right here. This would be their head if they were standing right there. Their head would be right about here. And if they were against this wall, their crosshair would be, or their head would be right about here. So it's all about clearing angles with proper crosshair placement. And that's going to be one of the biggest things you can master in this game. And I know a lot of times people will just walk around the map. They'll just walk around like this. And it's honestly, after doing crosshair placement for so long, it's hard to force myself to have absolutely abysmal crosshair placement. And I know a lot of people do. And I'm not trying to hate on them because obviously... You know, it's a new game. There are people coming from every single every single community and every single game known to fucking men. You got League of Legends, you got Counter-Strike, you got Overwatch, Rainbow Six, Fortnite, Crosshair Placement. Sure, it's a standard in a lot of games, but it's something that a lot of people just simply don't know about. And it's not something that you can pin on them for just not knowing. It's something that you just have to develop and master over time of playing a game. Just because someone has played a game for so long doesn't mean that they're automatically going to have crosshair placement because it is something you have to consciously improve and put an effort forth towards improving on. So just know, with time, crosshair placement will come. And just know that crosshair placement is one of those things that you always have to pay attention to. No matter what level you are at, your crosshair placement can always be better. When I was Global Elite in Counter-Strike, my crosshair placement still was not that good. It had to get better. I wasn't coming around pre-aiming walls like this, like I am right here. I was just soft clearing stuff like I am like here. I'm, I wasn't actually pre-aiming certain angles. I would just clear them like this. Which is a no bueno, you know, you need to actually, you need to pre-aim these spots, you need to actually have your crosshair readily available when you're peeking them. And that's one of the biggest things, that's, that's another advanced thing about crosshair placement that a lot of people just don't get. They think crosshair placement is literally just aiming at head level, no, it's, it's pre-aiming the spots that you think people are going to be, and having your crosshair pretty close, pretty fucking close to where you think they're going to be, and pretty close to the angle you need to peek. Crosshair placement is extremely in-depth, and it's not something that can just be looked at and shrugged off after about five minutes of trying to fucking use it. If you want to get better at this game, you need to have crosshair placement. If you want to have good aim, you need to have crosshair placement. It is that simple. Also, when you are holding an angle, uh, yes, crosshair placement is still very, very important. Say I am holding this angle right here. I don't want to be hugged up on this angle, like one inch away from the door, because no human being is going to ever hit a shot like this they will not have the reaction it is impossible if you expect someone to be coming from this right side you aim a little bit to the left so they just walk straight into your crosshair it's a free kill you look like a fucking god but in reality all you were doing is staring at a fucking doorway and pressing mouse one so that's about all i wanted to cover in crosshair placement and let me restate one more time it takes a long time to master but it's pretty easy to pick up at the base level and start using and start improving upon pretty fucking quick. It's very important. I will restate that again. It is very important. And I highly suggest, if you want to get better at this game, you implement it into your gameplay as soon as possible. If you have any questions about the matter, go ahead, leave a comment. I will make sure to respond to every single comment I get on this video uh, because I know there's only going to be one or two. So it's actually pretty easy for me. And that's going to be all for this video. If you like the video, go ahead and leave it a like. It uh, makes me a little happy every time I see one like. And subscribe if you're really feeling yourself today. I would really appreciate that as I am extremely lonely. Thank you.